Hello you guys, yes it's a little bit uh, noisy here in the greenhouse because I have uh, all the equipment uh, running because look at the temperature right now, it's way too warm in here so I need to do something about it and um, I have a plan so let me talk about the, the plan and uh, we'll, we'll see, we will see in, uh, in a few minutes if it uh, makes any difference I'm going to use this stuff, it's called Temperson in Dutch, it actually says in English shade paint, and it's a sort of uh, chalk that you can put on the on your greenhouse. And when the sun is shining, it starts to whiten up, and when it's raining, it will be uh, transparent. So I never used it before, and uh, well, actually, I never had a greenhouse in summer before because uh, the greenhouse is uh, quite new. And uh, but yeah, this is the light we do get now. I will have to put a paint on the greenhouse and then we we'll, can see the difference. So I have this mobile airco running at this moment because of the heat. It is now in the evening, early evening and it's still uh, quite warm. 25 degrees as you can see. Humidity is uh, low, a little bit too low. So, it, But I try to uh, get at least some cool uh, air uh, onto my uh, Meltoniopsis who are uh, over here because they don't uh, really hate the hot weather and I also have the door open and it might may uh, look a little bit silly but but it's outside cooler than inside the greenhouse let's go outside and that's why I have the door open so yeah I will uh, start painting uh, this uh, these walls very soon and I hope we will have uh, some notable uh, <laughs> differences. Um, it's not, yeah, a little bit of light, but especially the, the warmth. And this uh, greenhouse is facing southwest, so it's basically the complete day we have the sun on the greenhouse, so it's very warm. And also the trees do not have leaves yet, so they will uh, will give me some shade in uh, in summer, but not uh, now. And there was my husband. Hello! <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, I hope uh, we will have some uh, leaves soon so I can uh, have a little bit more shade on my uh, greenhouse. But in the meantime, I will uh, test out the, uh, the chalk, the paint that, you, um, that I uh, let you see. And I thought it would be a nice opportunity to uh, make some updates. If it really works or not, if it doesn't work, I need a shade net. And But because of the wind, it's basically always windy here so I um, yeah I try to avoid shade netting but yeah who knows I might be needing it but uh, we will see and I'm back in the greenhouse and I'll make one overview of the light right now so we can uh, compare it with uh, with when the uh, chalk is on so one last look at it and I will uh, be painting this uh, tomorrow but you will not uh, notice it of course in the video because I will skip that part because it will take uh, quite some time but uh, yeah we have now a general idea of the light even though it's in the evening and earlier on I uh, in the start of this uh, video I uh, filmed it uh, during the day so the sun is a little bit sharper there stronger there I should say and uh, but yeah let's see if the chalk will do his, uh, the, his job the shade paint
My colleague is now uh, painting the roof and I'm a bit scared because it makes a lot of, loi not a lot of noise. <laughs> and I'm personally very afraid of heights. So I'm very thankful that he uh, was uh, willing to help me out here. But yeah, I am happy when this is done, you guys. <laughs> Oh, the job is done. The greenhouse is now covered in uh, that uh, shading paint. So I hope it will work. It does really um, look looking good. It's uh, very chalky. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. It's really white. So I hope it will uh, reflect the light and uh, keep the warmth of the sun more, uh, more outside. That's uh, of course the uh, idea of this all. So um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm really happy the job is done. Like I said, I'm really afraid of heights, so uh, I was really happy uh, my colleague will, uh, was volunteering to help me out here. And uh, yeah, let's have a look inside if we can see any differences. Well, before we go inside, just a little close up. You can see it's very chalky and it's, it takes very, very easily to put on and it takes very well at the uh, polycarbonate. Yeah, I think this uh, this might work. I hope so because then I don't have a uh, have to install a shade netting. Well, we will see in the near uh, future, the near months, what uh, what this uh, chalk will do. But first, we well, let's go inside and have a look. And it's a bit noisy here again, but I still have all the equipment uh, running, my uh, ventilators and that kind of stuff. But this is now the light that is coming in. And I will film this a little bit later in the day. It's now about 12 o'clock in the morning. So I will uh, film this in the afternoon when the sun is really hitting this part of the, of the greenhouse. It's now here, the sun. But the sun is not, not really bright at the moment outside uh, as well. So this is not really a good indication. I will uh, come back today and uh, give a better ID. But I think we already can see that things are... Uh, changing in a positive way here. I'm really, really happy. Beautiful light now. It's really nice filtered light for my plants, so I'm very happy. So let's have a look at the uh, temperature right now. And yes, it's still very, very warm. It's now uh, about three o'clock in the uh, afternoon. But what you can see, I hope, is uh, that it's the sunlight is very um, reduced by the, by, the, by the chalk, so the plants do uh, not feel that warm anymore. They're a bit warm, but not too warm. So that's, that's very helpful, but um, yeah, it's still very warm here. So I have, uh, the immunity is uh, right uh, about 41% in here. I did order a uh, humidifier, and I hope it will be here uh, soon. So I will pump up that uh, humidity in here and make it a bit easier for the plants um, but I have to say this is the warmest, uh, warmest corner, warmest section of my greenhouse and I uh, therefore I have my vendors here, my brasias, cattleyas so they like the warm weather a bit more, they can handle the warm weather uh, as well a bit more and uh, also my vanilla is there so if I can keep up the humidity in here, um, it's going to be better. I'm not saying it will be perfect yet, but I think it will be uh, way better. I also uh, normally have my uh, ventilation uh, um, on, and my ventilators, I, I mean. But now for this video I have in the back uh, one on, but uh, the one very near me, the big one here, the big guy there, is uh, just shut down for this video. But. Uh, Otherwise, I don't think you can uh, hear me uh, as well, but I turned it on and I will keep the air moving and moving and moving. And uh, I will have a think about the temperature, if I can uh, decrease it a little bit to get it a little bit down. But yeah, so far it, it, it did help uh, with the light. The, the sunlight, the strongness uh, of the sunlight is, uh, is uh, practically gone now. So that's, that's a uh, plus. But yeah, the temperature. But like I said, I will have a think about it. And um, yeah, I will be back and we will see what we can do about that. But so far, this is uh, the first step in uh, getting my greenhouse ready uh, for summer. Uh, 
It's a bit noisy, but now you can see that uh, the plants are moving, the air is uh, really moving uh, nicely in here. So that's uh, very helpful, of course. And um, yeah, for now, this is uh, the update so far about uh, the shade paint. And uh, as usual, if you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know. And this will be, uh, will be continued. But for now, this is the video. I uh, just like to say thank you for watching. And I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.